Absolutely, Kathy. And Marquette University has four students studying right now, John Cabot University in Italy. I talked to a woman who studied there a few years ago, and she's obviously very upset about the death of the UW student. I never would have imagined something like that would happen. Um, and I never felt unsafe while I was there. Molly Dill is the managing editor of Biz Times Milwaukee now. But a few years ago, as a Marquette student, she studied abroad in the same program in Italy as UW student Bo Solomon. It was kind of shocking to hear because um, Rome's considered a generally safe city for students to study in, and um, I had been there myself, so it was, it really hit home, I guess. That could have been me. Dill says students are told what to watch out for, as well as how to acclimate to a different culture. The university that he was at, John Cabot, that's where I studied as well. It's not in a bad neighborhood. It's in Tristevere, which is uh, right next to the, the Tiber River there, right in the center of Rome. Bo Solomon's body was found in the Tiber River. Dill says she remembers the death of a Marquette student studying abroad three years ago. Andrew Keith Carr accidentally fell to his death on the bank of the Tiber River. It's sad to hear that this happened and it, it's very rare. UW-Madison told us they take a number of steps to make sure their study abroad programs operate in safe environments, including online and in-person orientation. And Marquette University told us they also offer students online and in-person orientation, which emphasizes personal safety. Live at Marquette University, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News.